Let's say that you want to build a rocket. There are lots of different rockets out there with different sizes, different fuels and engines, different payload capacity, and different materials. How do you figure out what the best choices are? You need to do a trade-off analysis. You may have done this when purchasing a car. You come up with a list of requirements, how much it costs, how many seats it has, how many cup holders are available. These are the things that you care about in a car. You then create a list of cars and rank each car based on the requirements. That gives you a nice matrix of data and, based on how important each requirement is to you, you can figure out which car is the best choice. The same basic idea works in aerospace. If you're developing an uncrewed aerial vehicle, the fancy name for a large drone, you come up with a list of requirements and, in this case, a value that tells you how important each requirement is. You then spend a lot of time coming up with different approaches that might meet your requirement. Unlike cars, which already exist, these vehicles are proposals, and you need to spend enough time on analysis to be confident that the designs will work the way you expect them to work. Then finally, you can rank the designs on the requirement. In this case, it's a heat map that shows you what measures are good and what ones are bad. System analysis trade-off studies is a bit of a mouthful, so this is often abbreviated to trade studies, or simply trades. As in, we were looking at different cushioning materials for landing, and the trade said that marshmallow was superior to chocolate ganache. If we look at the process, trades might take one person a few days, or a significant team might spend a few months. Trades use the best information available, often proprietary information that is only available inside an organization. Trades often require developing a sophisticated model to predict behavior. And trades are done by experts. All this means that trades give the best guesses available. They're still guesses, just highly educated ones. That is why plans change, a company learns more, and it turns out that the conclusion from the trades changes. Let's see how I stack up to these. I might spend a couple of days working on something, but rarely more than that. I only have publicly available information to work with. My models are simple and designed to get a feel for the behavior of the system rather than real numbers. And I'm not an expert. We can therefore expect that the results I get aren't very good. I simply don't have the information or training to do a great job but it's still interesting to try to understand why certain trade-offs are made, as long as we keep in mind the limits of our analysis. I highly recommend you watch my video, You Suck at Space, which is all about why humans tend to be poor at understanding the limits of their expertise. And now you know how trades work. My meta point, the reason that I made this video, is that companies very rarely make decisions without a lot of hard work and analysis. So if their decision seems strange, it's almost always because we are lacking data. If you enjoyed this video, please send me this poster.